Hi, I'm Jake Faree. With me, I have Mike. I also have Jenny. Jenny is going to be walking us through the modifications throughout the sequence today. So if any time you feel like you need to modify any of the poses, Jenny is going to be the one that you're going to be looking towards. With that said, let's go ahead and step towards the middle of your mat, having your feet about hip width apart. Let's bring the palms together and then bring your thumbs towards your chest. Good. Lift the chest up, pull the shoulders back, relax the shoulders down the back. And close your eyes here. You're taking the time here to ground yourself. Today's practice is Yo 30 Flow. With flow, we're going to be moving from pose into pose. The first round through most of these, we're going to be taking our time through it, so keep that in mind. Coming into our breath, take a big inhale through the nose, breathing all the way to the top and holding the breath. Holding the breath here for the next five, four, three, two. Open the mouth, let it go. Ha. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose, breathe all the way to the top. Holding the breath when you get to the top. Holding here for the next five, four, three, two. Open the mouth, let it go. Ha. Good. I like to set an intention for my class before I get started. So feel free to set an intention. Breathing in your intention. And as you can use your exhale to let everything else go. And as you inhale, breathing in your intention. As you exhale, let everything else go. Blink the eyes open. Let's get started. Inhale, raise the arms to the sky. But as the arms are up, let's keep them up here for a moment. Can you create a bit more length and extension throughout the spine? Allow your body to become a little bit longer. Another big inhale to reach higher. Exhale, take a lean over to the right. As you lean to the right, the right hand floats down the right side as the left arm keeps reaching up and over. Trying to create a bit more space and extension here throughout the left side of the body. You can even start to take your gaze up towards the sky. And now as you're here, can you take your hips, shift them a little bit more over towards the left, and then try to direct your breath in towards that left side of the body. So as you're breathing in, the left side is going to be able to expand a little bit more. The left arm keeps reaching up and over. And again, maybe you're looking up towards the sky. If you feel like it puts any pressure throughout the neck, you can always start to look forward. Keep that in mind. Inhale, raise the arms all the way back up to center. As you exhale, let's take the arms over towards the left. Again, first one here, we're just going to be pausing here for a few breaths. Actively keep trying to pull that left hand down the left leg. So it's trying to reach all the way down as a right arm. Again, 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 again. Can you send that breath in towards that right side of the body? Maybe taking the gaze up towards the sky. Pausing here for another inhale. And another exhale. Inhale, raise the arms up. This time as you exhale, fold forward, palms together as you start to fold forward and towards your legs. As a modification here, you can always keep a little bend in your knees. Jenny's putting a little bend in her knees to help relieve some of that pressure from the back if it happens to be there. You should be feeling a stretch here in this one throughout the hamstrings and also the lower back. Another thing to be thinking about here, adjust your weight slightly forward so it's more on the balls of your feet. You should feel that a little bit more. Good. Place your hands onto your shins. Inhale, find a flat back, lift just halfway. Trying to pull the chest forward to flatten the back out. Again, you can always keep a little bend in the knees if needed. And then exhale, fold forward. Good, so you can keep that modification with the hands to the shins or release the hands from the shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, the fold. Good, inhale, raise the arms all the way up. Stand tall as you reach high. And then exhale, hands slowly come center to the heart. Good, turn to face the front of the mat and walk yourself towards the front of the mat. Feet are still about hip width apart. Inhale, raise the arms to the sky. Exhale, take that lean to the right. Left hand comes down as the right arm keeps reaching over. So pulling away from the TV here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, take that lean towards the TV. So leaning over towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Connecting with the breath. Exhale, fold forward. Chest lowers down towards the thighs. Inhale, flat back. Halfway rise. Exhale, plant the palms. Slowly step back to plank pose. Good. Pausing here in plank pose. A few things to check in with here. Again, your modification as Jenny's showing is she's coming down to her knees. Mike's staying off of his knees so he can find a little bit more activation support here in his abs. Good, guys. Hold for another inhale. As you exhale, start to bend the elbows, lowering down into chaturanga. Again, you can stay on the knees as a modification, but can you try to keep the belly and the chest off the floor? Slowly strain the arms out. Good. Let's do that again. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower chaturanga. Inhale, right back to plank. And then last one, lower all the way down to the floor. Bend the elbows to lower. Release the tuck of the toes. Start to rotate the shoulder heads up. 
and then lift up just halfway, coming into what's called Baby Cobra. Jenny's going to keep the bent in her elbows in Baby Cobra. I'm going to have Mike actually straighten his arms out completely, coming into an upward-facing dog. As he's here, he's pressing down with the tops of his feet and trying to get the knees and the thighs off of the floor. Jess keeps pulling forward as the shoulders rotate back. Good, guys. Another inhale. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Tucking the toes, pulling the butt towards the sky as the chest keeps pulling back towards the thighs. Relaxing the head. Jenny's going to modify here a little bit by keeping a little bend in the knees. So again, for you guys at home, you're going to listen to your body and figure out what works best for you. Moving through a vinyasa here. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose, connecting with the breath. Exhale to lower, chaturanga, knees are there if needed. Inhale, up dog, chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. And then from downward dog, let's pedal the feet out a few times. Put a little bend in the knee and then switch sides. You're gonna do that back and forth. Let the head be heavy. Maybe give the head a few yeses or a few noes. But try to find some movement here, relaxing your body, finding the breath. Good, now begin to find stillness. Connecting here through a flow. Inhale, bends the knees. Exhale, either step or jump, bringing the feet towards the front of the mat, keeping the feet about hip width apart. Inhale, flat back, halfway rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise the arms all the way up, lengthen as you stand tall. Exhale, hands slowly come center to the heart. Good, so connecting here with what's called Surya Namaskar A. Connecting each movement with breath. Here we go, inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, chest lowers down towards the thighs. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, either step or jump back. Lower right into Chaturanga as you bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog or modify to baby cobra. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Pausing here in your dog, can you keep pulling the chest back towards the thighs and keep the sit bones lifted towards the sky? Again, make sure that you follow Jenny if you need the modifications. Inhale, bends the knees. Look forward, exhale, step or jump, bringing your feet towards the front of the mat. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise the arms all the way up. Stand tall as you reach high. Exhale, hands come center to the heart. Connecting, moving with the breath. Inhale to raise the arms. Exhale, fold forward, chest lowers down towards the thighs. Inhale, find your flat back, chest pulls forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog as the shoulders pull back, chest pulls forward. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Nice guys, we're gonna go through one more sequence here. Inhale, bends the knees. Exhale, step or jump, feet come forward. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise the arms up, lengthen, get taller as you reach. Exhale, hands slowly come center to the heart. Very nice. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, fold forward, chest lowers down towards the thighs. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Right into up dog. Exhale your way back, downward facing dog. Pausing here in your dog. As you're in your downward dog, can you start to create a bit more length? Maybe pedal the feet out a few times if you need it. This is time for you to check in with yourself, with your body. Good. Now we're moving through what's called Surya Namaskar B, taking our time to set up for it. From downward dog, inhale, raise the right leg to the sky. But as the right leg is lifted here, you're going to notice that the hip is closed off. Right toes point down towards the floor. As you exhale, step the right foot forward. Good. Jenny's going to sneak her foot up there with her hand. Mike just stepped his foot right up there. Back foot's going to spin flat. Your alignment that we don't want you to be finding here, the focusing on, is going to be heel to heel or maybe even a little bit farther apart. Good. As you take your next inhale, raise the arms to the sky, coming to what's called Warrior One. In Warrior One, ideally, we want to be trying to have our hips squared off towards the front of the room, so they're pointing forward. Arms are straight up. And you can explore the pose here a little bit more as well, possibly reaching the arms back a little bit further. Trying to keep a big bend in that front knee, getting the front thigh parallel towards the floor. Give it another big inhale. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. Front foot's going to step back. Lower right down through that vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra as a modification. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Good. Next side, inhale, left leg to the sky. From this left leg lifted, just pause here. Again, you want to check in. Make sure the hips closed off so the toes are pointing straight down to the floor. Good. As you take your next exhale, step the left foot forward. Maybe grabbing it if needed to get it up there. Back foot spins flat. 
Check it. Take the time. Check it with that alignment before you go anywhere. We're heel to heel alignment. Inhale to raise the arms to the sky. As the arms are lifted here, we want to try to be getting the hips and the shoulders stacked. Good. Now, can you explore that arm position a little bit more? Take the time and find something just a little bit deeper. So these poses are about finding an exploration, keeping in mind that there's no end or limit to the practice. It's just a practice. Another inhale. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. Front foot's gonna step back. Lower right into Chaturanga. Coming to the knees if needed. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra to modify. Exhale to press back, downward dog. Chest pulls back towards the thighs. The sit bones are lifting high towards the sky. Again, you can keep the slight bend in the knees if needed. Good, moving right on here. Inhale, bends the knees. Exhale, step or float, bringing the feet towards the front of the mat. Inhale, find your flat back, lift halfway, rise. Exhale to fold. Good. This time as you inhale, sit low, chair pose. You're going to bend the knees, keep the weight on the heels, lift the arms up. Jenny's modifying here by bringing her feet about hip width apart. So again, figure out what works best for your body. And you try to get the arms centered right over the shoulders. Belly stays engaged. Weight right now is on the heels. Next, exhale, stand. Bring your hands center to your heart. Good. And then inhale, sit low, chair pose. Right into chair pose. Good. Stay down a little bit lower, keeping the weight on the heels. Puff the chest up. Again, can you explore that arm position? Possibly reach it back a little bit further. Exhale, fold forward, lowering the hands down towards the floor. Inhale, find a flat back, lift halfway, rise. Exhale, plant the palm, step or jump back, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, chest forward or baby cobra. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Good, creating a bit more length, extension throughout the spine, relax the head. Give yourself a few deep breaths here. Okay, so we just took the time to build that sequence. Now we're going to flow through it, connecting pose into pose, moving with our breath, trying to get each breath to be as long as each pose itself. Inhale, raise the right leg to the sky. Exhale, steps the right foot forward, back foot spins flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. Right foot steps back, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, steps the foot forward, back foot spins flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the ground, front foot steps back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, or baby cobra. Exhale, press back, downward dog. With the breath we move, inhale, bends the knees. Exhale, step or jump, feet come forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, sit low, ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, stand, hands to the heart. Each breath moves us. Inhale, sit low, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, chest towards thighs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palm, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Right into up dog, heart forward or baby cobra. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Take a moment here, reground yourself. Relax the head. Deepen the breath. Allow the inhales and exhales to become a bit longer. Uh, it's just creating a little bit more length here in your dog. Relax the head, deepen the breath. One more round here through our Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, raise the right leg to the sky. Exhale, steps the right foot forward. Spin the back foot flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. Front foot steps back, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra is there for you. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. From downward dog, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, steps the left foot forward, spin the back foot flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, hands release to the floor, step the foot back, lower, chaturanga, modifying as needed. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Still connecting, moving with the breath. Inhale, bends the knees. Exhale, step or jump, feet come forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sit low, ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, stand, hands to the heart. Inhale, sit low, ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, chest towards thighs. Inhale, flat back, halfway rise. Exhale, plant the palm, step or jump back, chaturanga. Right into up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Good, pausing here in your downward dog. Again, can you take the time to find a little bit more length, a bit more extension and a bit more space? You're pressing down with your hands, but trying to pull the shoulders far away from the hands. Good, coming into our next sequence here. Inhale, raise the right leg to the sky. 
Exhale, steps the right foot forward. Spin the back foot flat. Inhale, rise, warrior one. So again, our alignment still is heel to heel. Hips are squared forward, so they're pointing towards the front here. And then arms start to reach back a little bit further. Good, as you exhale, open up warrior two. Chest and hips are now opening up towards the TV. If you notice here, the arms are fully extended and the shoulders are relaxed. Trying to get that front thigh parallel towards the front of the room, relaxing the front toes, but keep pressing with the heel of the front foot. Your alignment here on Warrior 2 is a little bit different than Warrior 1 with the legs. The heel is actually in line with the arch of the back foot, so feel free to change that if you're not already there. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior, finding that reach back. Again, we wanna to try to be finding more space and extension here throughout the entire side body. Top arm is reaching towards the back of the room. Back leg is straight. Good guys, give yourself another big inhale. As you exhale, coming into extended side angle, front knee stays bent. Mike's gonna lower his bottom hand all the way down towards the floor and keep reaching that top arm up and over. Jenny's modifying here by keeping her forearm onto her thigh. So again, you guys at home, you gotta figure out which one works best for your body today. Maybe you start with the forearm onto the thigh, but then maybe you end up lowering the, the hand down to the ground. Good, inhale right back to reverse warrior. Leg position stays the same as we start to arch back. Good, from reverse warrior, start to arch back a little bit further. Another big inhale. As you exhale, release the hands down to the floor. You're gonna start to walk your hands over towards the TV and you're gonna now center the other foot. That foot points forward. Good, step that foot back into plank pose. From plank pose, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra with the modification. Exhale to press back, downward facing dog. Making everything happen here on the other side. Inhale, raise the left leg to this guy. Exhale, steps the left foot forward. Back foot spins flat. Inhale, we rise, warrior one. Again, checking with that alignment here within the pose. We're heel to heel or maybe a little bit further apart. You start to reach the chest back a bit more. Maybe look up towards the sky. Another big inhale. Exhale, start to open up to warrior two. From warrior two, there's a slight adjustment of the front foot. It kind of heel toes over towards the TV just slightly. So now our alignment is heel to back arch. Trying to keep that front thigh parallel towards the front of the room. Relax the shoulders. Good, flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Start to reach back. As you begin to reach back again, can you find that extension space throughout the side body? Still maintaining a big bend in the front knee. Possibly looking up towards the sky. Breathing in towards the side body. Another big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Hand comes down to the inside as the top arm reaches up and over. Maybe taking the gaze up towards the sky. If you notice here, Jenny's going to be modifying by keeping her forearm on her thigh. Her top arm is still reaching further away, trying to create that space. Leg position stays exactly the same. Inhale to reverse the warrior, reaching that top arm up and back as the bottom arm reaches down the back thigh. Keep that extension, keep finding more length. Another big inhale. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. You're gonna walk the hands over so we're facing the other side of the room. Good, that front foot steps back. Lower into chaturanga, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra is there for you. Exhale to press back, downward dog. Good, so that was our choreography round. Now we're gonna bring all that together and turn it into a dance. Right side is our leader. Inhale, raise the right leg to the sky. Each breath moves us. Exhale, steps the right foot forward. Back foot spins flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. Walk the hands all the way to face the other foot. Step that foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, connecting with the breath. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Inhale, raise the left leg to this guy. Exhale, steps the left foot forward. Back foot spins flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, we open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, right back to reverse. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the floor. Walk all the way back to that front foot. Step it back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Good, take just a moment here. Keep pulling the chest back towards the thighs. Keep lowering the heels to the floor. Can we find this connection with the breaths? We're connecting each movement to each breath we take. Again, keeping in mind, you can always follow Jenny here if you need to find those modifications. Right side, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, steps the right foot forward. Back foot spins flat. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, we open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Front foot goes to the new front foot. <laughs> Step that foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Other side, inhale, left leg to this guy. Exhale, steps the left foot forward, back foot spins flat. Inhale, we rise, warrior one. Exhale, we open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior, arch back, reach back. Exhale, extend inside angle, find that space on the knee extension. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, hands release to the floor. We walk all the way to that front foot, step it back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, lower down to your knees. Knees are spread out as wide as the mat. Release the tuck of the toes. Send your butt back towards the heels and keep extending the arms forward. Bring the forehead down towards the floor, coming in what's called child's pose. Butts pulling back towards the heels as the arms keep reaching forward, trying to release the chest down to the floor and trying to bring your forehead down to the ground as well. Take the time here, reconnect with the breath. And you allow your inhales and your exhales to become even longer, breathing all the way up into the chest, allowing the chest to find its own natural expansion. And as you exhale, you allow that exhale to be so deep, you're able to release a little bit more into the floor. From child's pose, gently start to walk your hands all the way back to your thighs. Good. Once you're on your thighs, you're just going to go ahead and release your butt down to the floor and turn to face the TV. Good. So as you're here facing the TV, start to extend the legs forward. Okay, so toes point up towards the sky. Legs are straight, raise the arms to the sky. Once the arms are lifted, can you create a bit more space? So try to reach the arms up a little bit higher, lifting the belly up off the thighs. Another big inhale. Exhale, start to fold forward, releasing the chest down towards the thighs. Relax the head. And in this one, you're just reaching forward as far as you can, trying to keep that back pretty flat. So the modification here at this one is you can always put a slight bend in the knees if needed. And then maybe you just don't reach down as far. Okay, but can you try to find that surrender here in the body? What I mean by that is, what can you relax? What can we release? Can you relax the shoulders here a bit? What doesn't need to be working? Can you relax the face? And can you come a little bit deeper into the breath? Allowing the inhales and the exhales to become a little bit longer. Breathing all the way up into the chest on the inhale. And using that exhale to create a little bit more surrender or release. Slowly start to lift the chest all the way back up. And now as the chest is lifted, I want you to straddle the legs out to the sides. So we're just going to open those out. A few things to keep in mind here with the straddle. You want the legs to be straight. Even try to find a bit of a flex here in the quad. So there is going to be some effort happening here in the legs. Toes are pointing out towards the sky. And have you start, just come onto your fingertips. Begin to lift the chest up, pull the shoulders back. And then from here, you're going to work with what works best for your body. You're just going to explore here a bit. Start to walk the hands forward. And you start to walk the hands forward possibly as far as you can. Maybe you're already there. Maybe you can explore a little bit more. Take notice of what's happening here at the legs. You still want the toes to be pointing up towards the sky. Maybe start to walk forward a little bit more. Maybe the chest starts to lower down towards the floor. Again, guys, take the time to find what works best for you. If you again, you notice you're going to keep a flex here of the thighs. Toes are pointing up to the sky. And then start to remind yourself, what can we relax here in the pose? What's happening with the shoulders? What's happening with the face? And more importantly, what's happening here with the breath? Can you allow the breath to deepen even more? And as you begin to find the calmness here in the breath, you're going to find more calmness here within the body. Chest stays low. Slowly start to walk your hands over towards your right leg. Towards your right leg. As your hands walk over the right leg, you want to try to be kind of centering your chest towards the right leg. What tends to happen is this, the, the rib that's kind of pointing open towards the TV starts to open up a little bit. Let's not allow that to happen. So you want to be rotating that down and then fold a little bit deeper in the leg. Good. Can you deepen the breath? Relax the shoulders. Relax the head. Keep lengthening throughout the spine. Maybe start to walk the hands forward a little bit more. Relaxing the head. Good hands slowly start to walk back to center. And then let's walk the hands all the way to that opposite leg. Score off the chest towards the leg. And then exhale to fold forward a little bit deeper into the pose. Take the time to explore what's happening with the shoulders. What's happening with the head. What's happening with the breath. Maybe reaching forward, grabbing onto the foot. 
letting your forehead lower down towards your shin. And slowly start to walk back to center. And then gently start to lift the chest back up. Good. Once the chest is lifted, you're going to go ahead and take that back foot. Just swing it all the way forward. And we're going to meet together on our back. Lay all the way down. Once you're laying down here on the back, we're going to come into a little bit of a twist. So I want you to bend the knees. And then take the right leg tightly across over the left leg. Good. From here, take the arms out to the side. And just keep the shoulders on the floor. Go ahead and drop the legs over towards the TV. Try to keep both shoulders down on the ground. Just send the breath up into the chest. And as you exhale, let that exhale to be so deep that it just allows the entire body to relax a little bit more. Again, checking in. Both shoulders are positioned here on the floor. Breathing all the way up into the chest. And as you exhale, let that exhale to be so deep that it allows you to relax a little bit more into the pose. The legs come back to center. Once the legs are centered, release across the legs, and then switch across the, the legs. Once the legs are crossed, you're going to turn away from the TV with the legs, so the legs drop over towards the right. Again, can we keep both shoulders here on the floor and start to deepen that breath, allowing the breath to fill up the chest, and allowing the breath to release completely, uh, finding a little bit more of a surrender here within the pose. Good, guys. Bring your legs back to center. Once the legs are back to center, you're going to release across the, the legs and hug your knees into your chest. Once the knees are hugged into your chest, you're going to curl yourself up into a tiny little ball. Take the forehead, pull it into the knees. Take a big inhale through the nose. Hold the breath to the top. Open the mouth. Let it go. Allowing the arms and the legs to fully extend and splay open. Legs are going to be extended forward. Arms are extended forward. Palms are facing up. Close the eyes down if they're not already closed. And just allow your body to melt into the floor. This practice today was all about the flow, finding this connection, being able to move from pose into pose, being able to connect with your breath and your body. As we begin to find this connection with our own breath and our body, we become more aware. This awareness that we begin to practice here within the practice, it comes into our life. It will flow into your life. Just pausing here for a few more breaths, allowing the inhales and exhales to become a bit more gentle, letting the body completely relax into the floor. start to bring the awareness back into the body. Begin to notice the rise and the fall of the stomach and the chest as you breathe. Noticing how that breath affects things. How does the breath change things? As the breath starts to move through the body, how is the body responding to that? How is the body moving with the breath? And then begin to put some movement in, into the body by wiggling the fingers and wiggling the toes. Feeling life come back into you. Reach the arms up and over the head. As the arms reach up and over the head, can you create a bit more space, a bit more extension? Can you find a little bit more length as if you're waking up here for the first time? But gently bring your knees in towards your chest. And then just go ahead and roll towards the TV. So it's going to come into what's called a fetal position. Letting the body just surrender here a little bit deeper. And then using the strength within your hands and in your arms, press down with your hands and join me in a seated pose. Finding your way in a cross leg position, sitting up tall, facing the TV towards the middle of your mat. And as the eyes are closed, your gaze is within. You're just taking the time here to notice. Again, what has changed? What's shifted? How do you feel now compared to when you came in today? How do you feel now compared to when you started? Bring the palms together, thumbs towards the heart center. Bow your head forward into your hands. Honor this moment. Honor yourself. 
leading you through the practice. That is my honor. The light that lives within me salutes that same light that lives within you. Namaste.